we're back on the trail. Um, rough guess. Um, I think we got about 60, 70 more miles of the Ozark. Um, not all of it's like this. Some of it's paved. And then uh, we'll be out of the Ozarks. And I th actually, I think the Ozarks does overlap into Oklahoma just a little bit. I could be wrong with that. But either when we leave the Ozarks, we'll be in Oklahoma or we'll arrive shortly. So. Yeah, I was talking to my dad this morning. I got in a cell range. I, I try to call and check in every day. Um, he was, you know, asking why I would, there's not a lot of videos of animals. And I told him, I'm like, you know, I've not really seen that many animals on the trail. Of course, it is hunting season, so. Uh, but still, you know, I'm not seeing a lot of animals. Uh, the few times I have seen some animals, we've been on roads where I can't stop and take video and pictures. Cyclist on the Trans America tra Trail is actually driving the Trans America Trail. The obvious ones have the roll charts on their handlebars. Those are the ones that you know for sure are, well, I'd say about 99% sure are doing the trail. Of course, they could have realized they were running low on gas and were backtracking. They had a gas station too, so there is that. driving in 
in the forest where the sun is not beating directly down on them doesn't help. Um, so I don't have enough power to run my laptop because uh, the only inverter I got is the big 1100 watt one that's hooked to the solar batteries and it's permanently mounted back there. I mean, I do have the tools to unmount it, bring it up and plug it up to the truck battery, but then I run the risk of running the truck battery now. So, you know, I gotta have power on the days that I edit videos, because it usually takes four or five hours minimum, usually longer than that, to put these videos together for you guys. Um, and yeah, my battery won't last that long. My battery will last, well, if I'm editing, about an hour because editing sucks a lot of processing power down which in turn sucks the battery down but if I'm just using it to watch movies like I usually do at night I usually get two movies unless it's really long it's your average two hour movie so about four hours watching a movie um, but yeah I don't I don't like to pay for camping and a lot of times I'm just I'm tired. I don't want to set stuff up. And yes, I know that's being lazy. But in the time lapse, you guys really didn't you couldn't tell because the time lapse, you know, 45 minutes was compressed down to two minutes. Um, it actually does take a little while to set everything up. Um, I tried to pick a campsite that was kind of secluded-ish. Um, it does seem to be at least enough distance away from other campers that, you know, doing videos should not disturb anybody. And the added bonus is there is the bathroom showers directly across from the campsite I chose, so... But as hot as it is in Arkansas right now, I can only imagine what it is in Oklahoma. Uh, that's one thing. Another thing I don't like is you have to take a nice shower, get all relaxed, or rest clean and cool, and then walk outside and you're sweating before you make it back to your campsite. <laughs> it's just like, why did I go take a shower? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, anyway, so, I mean, that was kind of the whole reason behind my whole design and setup of my rig was that I got multiple options. Um, but, you know, getting out every hour and a half, two hours, and taking Lucy for a 10, 15 minute walk. And, I, and I've done told you guys before, you know, before I hit the trail, I was lazy. Well, a hell of a lot lazier than I am now. Um, so yeah, I mean, Walking from here to that rise and back, you know, that just wears me out. Um, but I'm slowly getting getting into shape. It's every time I do it, it's less, a little bit less strenuous. You know, my clothes are a lot looser than they were, so I know I'm losing weight. getting there. Takes a little bit of time. Can't rush out and do it all at once. Give yourself a heart attack and you know, what's the point? So, baby steps. In my case, almost literal, literally. <laughs> ah, this is pretty dear. Oh, wow, man. Nice, cool breeze just hit us. Oh, man, yeah.
mean, this is a really popular uh, bicyclist trail, apparently. Um, this is the first one I've seen going this way. But done past at least a dozen of them going the other way. And um, there's a little cafe back there. There's a bunch sitting there, too. God, it smells so good driving by there. <laughs> place was packed too. There had to be been eight or nine motorcyclists, um, about a dozen cars and a dozen bicyclists. So yeah, I usually don't try to get in a hurry to get around the bicyclists. I usually let them wave me by. Yeah, see, here's one, two, three more coming down.
when you're unhealthy, it's not healthy. <laughs> I think you guys have noticed that I'm not shy talking about being lazy and, you know, not wanting to do things and, you know, being disabled. I haven't really gone over a whole list of my disabilities. I mean, I do have, I have quite a few, well, quite a few health issues. Let me rephrase that. Um, you know, maybe one day if you guys are interested, I'll do it. Or maybe I'll do it as a Patreon video or something. I need to do, start putting stuff up. I don't have any Patreons yet, but I'm sure some of you have probably gone and looked at it and realized I'm not posting anything. Just, I'm new to all this, so, you know, trying to keep up with everything. Like I said in the very first video, you know, this, I'm not doing this, this trip and this lifestyle to make a YouTube channel and to be famous and to be popular and make money and all that stuff. I mean, if it comes, great, wonderful, you know, I'm extremely happy, for you, you know, that you guys would support me like that, but I'm doing this to get healthy, and I just figured I would video it, vlog it, whatever they call it, so that uh, you guys could follow along and enjoy the adventures with me, and, um, you know, maybe learn some, some stuff that you didn't know, or some cool places, or, you know, whatever. So that's, that had, that is, or that was, is, and always will be my primary focus. Um, and I'm sure you guys understand because you've all stuck around this one. So, that's not to say though that, you know, we, we passed something cool, you know, we won't stop and check it out, you know, if it's not part of the trip or part of the plan. You know, I am flexible. But this this part, the Trans American Trail, is kind of a... Uh, don't want to get too far off of it. Uh, most of the stops and things I want to do are pretty close. About an hour max is, is about as far off the trail that I want to get. You know, because I am on a budget. You got shot all the hell with three flat tires. Uh, plus the towing and then the uh, wheel bearings and brakes. And, but next year, though, is going to be wide open. So, like I said in one of the previous videos, uh, done with the trail we're gonna go back to North Carolina check on dad see how he's doing visit with some family catch up with some friends uh, there'll probably be a week or two break in between videos um, I'll let you guys know when that happens and then we'll head on out to Quartzsite for the summer or for the winter Arizona and we'll video that on the way out it'll probably be more direct route because at that point, uh, you know, I need to get out there by a certain time. You know, we will, we will uh, stop along the way a few places, you know, check some things out. But mainly, it's going to be highway driving. And there's still a lot of cool places along, you know, scenery and stuff along the highway um, to check out. So, there'll still be some interesting videos. And of course, there's going to be videos, maybe not the same frequency as they're coming out now, but there will definitely be videos in the winter, out in Quartzsite, um, you know, going around, checking out the, uh, the gym show, and there's actually other shows there besides just rocks, uh, there's like a big huge RV show, they have other things that go on there as well, so we'll be checking all that stuff out, uh, we'll be doing some digging out there. Exploring some different areas in Arizona, and then uh, once Quartzsite Tucson is over, um, I'm probably not going to go to Victorville unless I have some stuff to sell because it's a very very small show in Victorville, California. Uh, usually about a two dozen max dealers, so it's not like 
quartz site where you know there's 20 30 thousand dealers and Tucson is probably five or six thousand dealers um, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be doing going to Tucson or not because Tucson's more of a wholesale type environment and if I do go there it's only because I'm working for somebody and they want me to go but uh, otherwise we're just staying courtside because the show in courtside keeps going even while Tucson is going granted you know, a lot of the people leave and go to Tucson but um, you know courtside still goes on until March so but anyway once we're done there we're gonna head on down to uh, or head across to I think it's Los Angeles where Route 66 ends or starts. I guess it really doesn't matter because it goes well, you know, it's two way. And then we'll take that and head east and northeast, follow it up until it's done. And yes, I know a lot of Route 66 doesn't exist anymore. It's merged with high interstates and stuff. But there's still a lot of cool places that are still there um, that we can check out. And it's just, you know, the bucket list thing. Older and more grayer, and you know, talking to my grandchildren, I can tell them, I said that when I was your age. I walked Route 66 both ways uphill, get barefoot in the snow. <laughs> uh, and then from there, uh, we'll head back home, check on the family again. And after that, it's going to be, uh, I've not really got anything set in stone, any concrete plans. I do want to go to Alaska, I do want to go into Canada, although I'm here in Canada now is, uh, unless you can prove you have a job, they won't even let you in the country. Or they just give you like a seven day pass or something. Um, and you've got to be out of the country if there are seven days, which I can understand you know, jobs and all this and that, but, um, worst case, we'll jump on a ferry and, uh, ferry it up to Alaska. There used to be, I don't know if there's still any check-in, because there used to be a ferry that you could take from Washington, and, uh, it went straight up to Alaska. It was like a two-day trip, you know, not cheap, but you don't need a passport card to do it because uh, it doesn't dock anywhere in Canada. So we'll take a look at that and we'll if we get up to Alaska. We'll head up there. We'll drive. Uh, we'll do the Dalton. going to do it in the summer. Yeah, we're not going up there in the winter. I did that once already. Um, worked in the oil field up there in the middle of the winter for four months. Yeah. Like I said before, I like cold because it's easier to get warmer, but uh, not that cold. <laughs> I mean, we're talking out on the frozen Arctic Ocean where there's nothing to block the wind. And I mean, you know, the temperature without wind chill is like negative 40, 50 degrees. With wind chill, it can get up to negative 70. Going back to Alaska in the winter, and quite frankly, it's expensive to winterize or arcticize your vehicle for Alaska. So, yeah, we'll go up, we'll do the Dalton, and I'll uh, head up to Dead Horse and Anchorage and Fairbanks, and do some wilderness driving, you know, and then we'll come back down. definitely want to do Olympic State Park. I definitely want to do uh, Pacific Highway, Pacific Coastal Highway, P yeah, the PCH. Um, definitely want to do that. Uh, I want to go to Maine. I've never been to Maine. This is the only state in the continental United States I've never been to. Uh, so I do want to visit that again. <laughs> Summertime. Yeah. Uh, You know, there's a few other places. Uh, you know, I wanted to go see Mount Rushmore. Never, uh, well, I was there as a child, but I don't remember it. Um, 
maybe head out into Baja, Mexico. There's supposedly some really cool off-road trails down there. Um, you know, things like that. So, yeah, I lost my birth certificate. Um, so I just ordered another one. Uh, that was a pain in the butt. All the things that make you go through to prove, you know, you are who you are. You say who you say you are. So get that in. Then I'm gonna get the uh, Western Hemisphere passport card. I think is what it's called. Uh, it's not the full passport book. I don't like to fly, so I don't need the book. Um, but yeah, that allows us to go to Mexico and to Canada. So by the time I get back from Quartzsite, it should be in, because that takes like three to four, three to four weeks. And I can't even go apply for it until, ooh, Reading Campground. Um, I can't even apply for that until I get the first certificate get back. Um, actually, it may, sorry about that. Camera shut off on me. So yeah, it might be at the house now. I don't know. Dad hasn't said anything. But, uh, you know, I can't go apply for it until I get back in November. So, or at the end of the month, whatever it may be. But yeah, we'll get it all worked out. And get ready to do some serious traveling. Um, probably going to be a lot of places where we actually uh, stay for a week or so uh, next year. Because next year I want to do some serious rock hounding, prospecting, and uh, because ultimately that's how we're going to end up paying for a lot of our travels. So, but yeah, I'm definitely bringing you guys along for all that. You can check it out, see what it's all about if you don't know, or laugh and make fun of me if you do when I make mistakes. <laughs> So, that seemed like we were higher up than 700 feet. Alright, well the camera's getting hot, that's why it shut off, so we're going to turn it off for a little bit. And I'm sure you guys are probably tired of hearing me hammer on anyway. And we'll see you here in a little bit. So, <clears throat> as you can see from the sign ahead, Road closed 5.6 miles ahead, and this section is 30 miles. So, I didn't bother to call <clears throat> to check for road closures. So, I did see somebody coming out a minute ago, and they confirmed that it is completely closed as a bridge out. That, well, it's, it's not out there rebuilding it. So, <clears throat> He said motorcycle probably or in four wheeler can probably get through but not a car or a truck. So we're gonna have to detour around and the only detour that I can find we head on down here about twelve more miles, jump on forty, head up about twenty miles and get back on the trail there. So uh we'll see you guys then. Well we are back on the trail. We are out of the Ozarks, unfortunately. Um can't be helped. Uh, road was closed. And this was the shortest, quickest route to get back on the trail. So, sorry about that, but we are close to the Oklahoma border. Uh, I did find us a spot to park for the night at a Walmart, about uh, three, maybe four hours away from Jet, Oklahoma. So, there is that one. Oh, this is a sketchy looking fucking bridge. Excuse my language. I don't have to beep that out. Um, so yeah, I gotta get some window cleaner. Wow. Uh, the other morning when I was the last Walmart, when I woke up in the morning, the condensation on the inside of the window, and I tried to wipe it clean and made a mess. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll pick up some Windex tonight while I'm at uh, Walmart. 
So yeah, the one advantage of parking it in a Walmart, sleeping in the truck, is that there's nothing to pack up. I mean, I basically just take my pillows and blankets, throw them in the back, and we go. So we can get an early start, so we'll definitely get there by noon at the latest. And uh, then, like I said, we can go ahead and get her digging in. Then we can go onto the campground at five. Check in. We might be able to check in a little bit early. The checkout is two. So I'd say we get there about three, four o'clock. Then probably go. go ahead and let us in. private property on the other side of us. At least I take my seatbelt off. Ugh.
clear, it wasn't supposed to rain, and to be honest with you, I just didn't feel like pulling them out. But we're going to be two, uh, two days at this, at this campground. So, uh, well, two nights and one full day. So, we'll get fully set up. We'll have power, water, showers, all nine yards. And then uh, Tuesday, after everything is said and done, we'll get back on the road. And we should be in Colorado by night's end. Or day's end. I'll look at the map and figure it out exactly to make sure. Um, and I'm going to try to plan ahead a little bit. Try to find dispersed camping or something. But hitting, uh, you know, the Oklahoma and Colorado and and Utah, it's all going to be BLM land a lot, so we shouldn't have any issues with, uh, you know, driving along and be like, ooh, there's a good spot to just pull over and park. So, anyways, that's what's going on, and, um, yeah, so, uh, we'll go ahead and turn it off, and uh, once we approach the state line, turn it back on so we can do our state state line crossing into the new state. See you then. Don't think we need to worry about that. Not at 800 feet. And it hasn't rained here in a while, so... Yeah. Wow. Right, that's, you could probably walk under that without bending over. I hate to see what this looks like when it does flood. Lots of dispersed camping. Most of them were full. I'm assuming it's just first camping. I'm not really sure. I mean, you know, there were signs up saying no trespassing, private property, but there were lots of people camping there. So, I don't know. But it's 6:30. Sun has gone down below the horizon, or below the mountain. I think by the time we get to the top, it'll be pretty much all the way down. It's starting to finally cool off. Thank <laughs> you. 
ditch. That's a trench. It's like two foot deep by three two foot wide. Oh man, it's been a while since I've seen uh, moss covered rock. It's prevalent here. Probably some agate too in this area. Maybe some geodes. I don't know, I have to get my uh, my books out and look. But we ain't got time on this trip to stop hunt. Say that for next year when that's pretty much what we'll be doing all summer. Going for one dig site to the next and hitting, hitting gym shows and play markets on the weekends. Those people back there could have could have been hunting and not just camping, and that was their base camp, maybe. And they have permission to be there, so maybe it's not his first camping, but can't hunting sites. Get somebody coming. Let me turn my overheads off so we're not blinding them. Check the map. All right, let's see here. What do we got? All right. Let's see. No, we don't want Google Maps. We want Gaia. Uh, Okay, I thought we crossed there, but we don't. So we do have a little bit further to go. But, uh, let's see. 15, 20 more miles. When we cross over, it looks like we'll be on normal, normal roads and not what we're on now. So. Thought we were closer than we actually were. So we got a little bit more to go. Probably dark when we cross over, but maybe not. Twilight, dusk, whatever it's called. Alright guys, well, we're going to turn it off right now and uh, turn it back on when we close to the border. <laughs> 